here. I want to welcome you. I am in Malaga. How are you doing today? How is everyone? How is everyone doing? Welcome to another live chat with the travel addict guy. Hope you're doing well. I'm in Malaga right now and I'm in the Plaza Merced and it's very, very quiet around me. We have all the shops and everything shuttered for two weeks. Unfortunately, everything is closed except essential businesses can be open and that is because we went over the allotted amount by eight cases, only eight cases, so we had to shut everything down. So here is the Plaza Merced, and you can see normally these tables would be full of people, and now they are shuttered, unfortunately. So I'm going to take a little walk around the city, and I'm going to show you guys that. So please say hi to me if you are with me. We have 14 people now. I'd like to welcome you all to the chat. We have Real Life Gimbal here. Hi from Manchester. Hello, Real Life Gimbal. How are you doing? Welcome to the chat. And I was just here with Miko the Catman. And he did not want to participate in the chat today. He's got to go back and do some cooking. So he's invited me to the apartment after to have something to eat. He was with another friend today. So he's doing well. Some people have been asking about him. Here is the plaza here. Wow, you can see a few people out, but very, very quiet. And it's a Saturday afternoon, and normally these places would be all kind of tables out here, all kind of cafes, all kind of shops, all kind of people enjoying themselves. But that is shut down right now, unfortunately. I see, got some more people here. Hi from Michigan, Florin Lux. Hello, thank you so much. Crispy Poke, hey, great channel. Keep up the good work, hermano. Thank you so much, muchas gracias. Crispy Poke, very, very nice. Hey, I wonder if that's my friend from the from the Muey Uno, where I've got some poke there. Very, very good poke I've had before there. Very, very nice. Hi from Michigan, Florin Lux, hello. Welcome to the chat, Cat5. Hello, travel a guy from Michigan. Hi, Cat5, nice to see you. A big supporter of mine, Cat5. Very, very nice to see you, and I'd like to thank everybody that has been watching the videos lately. Uh, had a lot of action this week on the channel. I appreciate that. Thank you so much, guys. And quite a few new subscribers. So if you're new to my channel, thank you so much. I appreciate your subscription and your support. That always helps me out. So I'm going to walk around town and take a look. And you're going to see a very, very quiet town. We've got a few people here in the plaza. We just walked around the town and remember it's a Saturday and a lot of people are staying home. I think they've been encouraged to do so. So please say hi if you've joined me. Angela's here. Angela Hayes. Hello. Hi, Angela. How you doing? Hi, Carrie. Hope you're well. Thank you so much, Angela. Hope you're doing well too. Mozaki's here. Hello. Hi, my friend. Hello. It says hello tag my friend. Yes. Hello, Mo. How you doing? Very, very nice. Fanny Khan is here from Toronto. Welcome from Toronto. Yes. Very, very nice. Joining us live from Toronto are you using the new GoPro no we had some issues with that uh, real life we tried to get that going and it's not that easy to connect it to the live stream I unfortunately I have the camera Miko thinks he has a work around it I actually spent a couple days fiddling around with it and they have an app and I couldn't get it to work it won't connect I have a few different accounts in Google and it won't connect to the right account and there is some kind of stream key I tried that I tried a lot of different things and my understanding is even if you can connect it with the app, you don't have the access to the chat. And without the chat, it really kind of defeats the purpose because that's why I do these live streams. I do them so we can chat with each other. Miko thinks he has a work around it. We're going to go ahead and maybe try the next one. I'm going to try to get it hooked up. So hopefully we can do that another day. So let's go ahead and cross the street and we'll walk into the downtown part of Malaga. Got a live stream going today, guys. Very, very nice. Welcome to Malaga, to south of Spain. Very, very nice. 28 people joining us now. Say hello, please. I will say hello to you. And tell me where you're from. Al Fleming, good day from Clydebank, Scotland. Ah, very, very nice. Welcome. So, you see one place open to my left. They're selling food. They're allowed to stay open. Just about everything is shuttered, and you will see that soon. It is a very strange Malaga right now. They shut everything down for two weeks and everything is closed unless it's essential, which is quite interesting because now some different shops I'm noticing are essential that weren't essential before. So that's quite interesting because uh, I went by a barber shop and that was open 
and before you couldn't have barbershops open. So they're changing some of the things that are essential, I guess. So I guess that's a good thing. 30 people here, welcome, 31. Graham Watson is here. Hi from Graham and Diana from Downham Market in England. Watch you all the time. Hope to see you when we come out to Benamadena. Hi to both of you. Yes, would love to meet you. I'd love to meet everyone that comes to Spain. Love to spend some time with you, at least uh, have a drink, something like that, a coffee, maybe a glass of wine, and whatever, a chat maybe. So walking past this place, this is open here. So you can come, well, you, it's only for takeout. So you're allowed to get something there and take it out and that's it. So all the restaurants are closed, they're all shuttered. Here's a couple of shops here that are shuttered because of this two week order. And this two week order was triggered because if you've been watching my videos that we've gone over the limit by eight cases, only eight cases. Wow, that seems very, very strange to shut it all down for eight cases, but that's what they did. That is what they have done. So going by uh, Pimpi here, El Pimpi, which is a famous bar here in Malaga. And you can see everything is closed, both sides of me. Everything is shuttered right now. Wow, very, very, I'm gonna turn it around the camera. You can see there is Pimpy, shut down, shuttered, and look at this. Desolate streets, guys, just desolate. Very, very desolate streets here in Malaga. Unfortunately, I've never seen it really like this except after the original quarantine. So that is the condition we're in now. Hope you're well, mate. Thank you so much. John McAllister is here. Hi, John, how you doing? Welcome to the chat, hi. Ernesto Davila, greetings from Florida, Ah, okay. Buenos dias, Ernesto, bienvenido. Nice to see you and everyone in Florida. Hello to all of you. Saludos a todos in Florida. Big up Miko. Yeah, Miko, I just saw him. He was in the plaza with me. We walked around a little bit. We had some coffee and he didn't want to participate in the chat today. Maybe he's not feeling up to it. I don't know. He had a friend with him and uh, he was going back to cook something. So he invited me to eat with him afterwards. So that's quite nice. So we're gonna head over there probably after. So we got one place here, a coffee shop and pastries, and you can go in there and get a carry out. You can do that. So that is quite nice if you wanna do that. So at least we have that option and we are semi-free. We have just the lockdown to deal with or the quarantine, I should say. Here they call it toque de queda in Spanish and it's from 10, p.m. until 6 a.m. So you're allowed to be out. Obviously you have to have the mask on and you're not allowed to gather in groups of four. You have to be in groups of four or less. That is my understanding. So I wanted to ask you guys too about what is the situation where you are? Are you guys quarantined? Are you guys locked down? I know people in England are locked down. What are the rules? Are you allowed to go out right now? Is it similar to here? Because I know even right now they're setting different rules in different parts of Spain because I just talked to a friend of mine the other day in Madrid. He actually has a channel there too. Very, very nice guy. He's called Adventure Elliot. Here's a place open here. He, if you haven't seen his channel, maybe check it out. He's a friend of mine. And he told me that thing is basically open there. So it's quite, quite to you. Okay, sorry guys. We had a little glitch in the stream. Sorry, I must've walked down a spot. Oh, a Facebook message came in. Oh boy, I thought I turned off okay sorry about that guys something happened there first time i had a glitch with the chat so it can happen i apologize for that interrupted the stream um hi to japan yes very very nice very nice to have someone from japan here i hope uh i'm still connected to all of you guys hi scott geddes hi from halifax nova scotia very very nice hey scott how you doing welcome to the chat wow you can see how desolate it here you can see how desolate it is here guys <laughs> Wow, this is just shocking. Look at this. This is what we have to deal with right now. It is very, very quiet here in Malaga. And this is a Saturday. I thought some people would be out walking at least, but uh, very, very few people. Very, very few people out. Nikki Reynolds is here. Hi from Scotland. Hi, Nikki. How are you doing? Welcome to the live chat. Mike can cook for us when we come to Malaga. I guess he means Miko. Yes. Yeah, maybe he can cook for us. Okay, that would be nice. I gotta see how Miko cooks. I don't think I've ever had anything he's cooked. So that'll be quite interesting. And Miko has a pretty good deal right now. He's in an apartment, but he has it all to himself because uh, it's like an Airbnb type deal, I guess. He has uh, three or four bedrooms there and there's no one else there because there's no, there's no tourists really and there's no one to rent right now. So 
that is the situation there. So here we are in the plaza here. And wow, you can see no one. Look at this. And this is one of the main plazas here in Malaga. Look at that. Just all of these businesses and shops would normally be open. I mean, some have gone out of business. This one here has gone out of business. It's noodles. I've done some videos here. And some people just trying to tell me, some Spanish people still trying to say it's kind of peachy keen here. Doesn't seem to be the case. Does not seem to be the case right now. And I'm afraid that this uh, lockdown, lockdown light, or whatever you want to call it, uh, this two week here shutdown is going to put a few more places out of business. I hope that's not the case, but it may be, definitely could be the case. Fabian W. Hi from Florida. Oh, we have a couple of people joining us from Florida. What part of Florida are you in, Fabian? Welcome to the chat. Very, very nice. I think Florida, my understanding is in Florida that you guys are almost completely open and you don't even have to wear masks there. So it's quite different. Here it's mandated. You have to wear the mask. You have to do that. So this is another street here that's quite popular normally. There would be all these uh, tapas bars would be open. There would be people here, tables normally and it's just all shuttered there is nothing it is just all closed down very very strange guys cat five our restaurants in michigan are finally open for indoor dining but only at 25 percent capacity very very good to hear that cat five i'm glad things are finally open you're you're in my state where i'm from actually i'm from michigan very very nice hirschman hello from nottingham uk hi to you Marisol Karukalis. Hi from all we're in El Grande. Ah, I've been wanting to get there. All we're in El Grande. Some people waving. Hello. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Very nice people there. That's quite nice, friendly people. Love to see that. We've got one man selling lottery tickets in the street here. One lone man. <laughs> selling a lottery ticket. That's about it. That is about it. And there's a lady here. And that is it. And this is another. Normally there's a couple. These are normally they have all the tables out here. This place would have the tables out, and this is a bar here, Neil McGregor. It's an Irish pub, and they would have tables out, and this place next door would have tables out, and there would be a lot of people here normally uh, eating or having tampas or drinks, and none of that right now, none of that is going on. You can see that. None of that is going on right now. So heading up toward the Plaza de la Constitución and to Larios. We're going to walk down there. I do see some people out walking now, so that is good. Some people are walking around, and they are enjoying the day, the rest of the day. That is very, very nice. Nikki Reynolds, that's heartbreaking to see Malaga like this. Yeah, it is, Nikki. It is very, very strange, and I think it's kind of really uncalled for, in my opinion. I mean, they could have more of these places open, at least out, outdoors. I really don't see why they're doing it right now. We were just... I, w I just did a video a few days ago, and I was in with a new friend of mine here. She's, her name is Deborah, and another friend that I met here in Malaga. Very, very nice woman, British woman, and she wants to live in Malaga. So that's quite, quite nice. She's trying to get the residency right now. So very, very cool. And we walked to Pedro Galejo, Palo, and it was so dead. It was so, so dead. That was the first day that they put this uh, new two-week uh, shutdown in effect. I think that was Wednesday. So you've got this place to my right is open. You can get some ham here, it looks like. Some carry out, some nice ham in there. You can see that. And to my left, a currency exchange is open. So a few places open here. And here's a place. I guess if you sell food, you can stay open. And this place sells masks. But any kind of um, place selling clothes or any items like that, they're all shut down. All shuttered right now. So here we are coming up to the Plaza de la Constitución. So let's take a look at that. Few people, but not too many. Few, few people, and that is it. A little bit of sun in my eyes there. So let me get up to the plaza here, try to get out of the sun, and maybe I'll answer a couple more messages here. And this is the Cafe Central. I'm actually doing a video there. I'm going to be doing a video there soon. I have a friend of mine he's a barista and he was actually a champion barista in Spain and he opened a he has a coffee roasting business it's actually close to where I live and I did a video there and he's roasting the coffee now for Cafe Central and a lot of people know this it's a famous cafe here in Malaga it's a famous cafe in Malaga and normally there's a lot of people there it's very very 
popular, a lot of people, a lot of tables there, and he's now roasting the coffee for that place, so that is very, very, very nice. Oh, I got a little dog over there, and he is quite making a lot of noise there. 62 people, wow, very, very nice. And I wanna welcome everyone to the chat. If you join me, please say hello. I'll get to you, I'm gonna try to say hello to everyone, and I appreciate everyone. Right now, all you guys following me, supporting me, and following my channel, subscribing. I appreciate that. I had a lot of new subscribers lately, and I really appreciate that, guys. Thank you so much. That really helps me, helps me make more, more videos and helps me grow. So I appreciate that. And I can do more videos for you guys, and maybe you can do some more traveling in the future, hopefully, when all this ends, if it ever ends. Angela Hayes, Cat5, all non-essential shops closed here in Ireland. So similar to here, huh, Angela? Seems like the case. Uh, you all have to walk around with the mask. Is that the situation where you are, Angela? Fabian, we will be there in March. Looking forward to walking around Malaga with you. Ah, very, very nice, Fabian. Sounds good. Sounds good to me, man. Let's do it. Sounds great. You can be here in March. That'll be very nice. Adventure Elliot is here. Hey, hey, Carrie. It's Adventure Elliot. Stay warm down there, mate. Hey, I just mentioned you, Adventure Elliot. I don't know if you heard me do that. I mentioned you, and uh, I said I had a friend in Madrid, and his name is Adventure Elliot. Great video, by the way, Adventure Elliot. He has a channel. Maybe you guys want to check him out and support him. He's actually a friend of mine now. And he did a great video about the north of Spain. And he did this uh, trail, the Camino de Santiago, it's called. And it's this uh, pilgrimage that St. Saint, uh, Saint James, I guess, uh, was on. St. James or St. John, I believe. And it's some kind of pilgrimage. And wow, it's very, very cool. The, the beauty was amazing. He had some beautiful, beautiful shots in that video. I really enjoyed it. That was a great video, Elliot. So maybe check him out and give him some love too, guys. He's doing a good thing there in Madrid. And he was telling me, let me ask you that, Adventure. I think everything you were telling me when we talked the other day, that everything is basically open in Madrid. Is that the case? That you guys can go out, the cafes are out, are open. You can see here, it's everything is shut down. I mean, it's just, it's so, so desolate. And this here to my left used to be a Costa Coffee. I've talked about that before. This was always popular. And it's just a shell now. There's nothing there. And this is right in the plaza. So it was a very, very popular place. And look at it. It's just completely decimated with a lot of other businesses that have been forced to shut down permanently. They're out of business, they're gone, shuttered, closed, bankrupt. Yes, must be unique to have the Malacanian streets to yourself. Yes, kind of interesting, very, very different for sure. Marisol Karukalis, non-essential shops, bars and restaurants back open and now we're in Al Ala Grande. Ah, very interesting. Wow, it's very, very interesting how one week they're opening up and closing and it just seems like a circle they're going in, like a merry-go-round, and you seem to ride it. And that must be very, very tough on businesses because if you own a business and you don't know tomorrow if you're going to be open or closed, it's really, really strange. And I don't know, wow, it's really tough what's going on here and what are they accomplishing by opening, closing, opening, closing. It's almost like starting and stopping. And you know how it is when you're in a car and you start and stop, if you're in a race, I should say, and if you start and stop, it's hard to get back up to speed. And that's what it's like when you close these places. It's hard to get back up to speed and it's gonna take a while. It's gonna take a while. It's not like you can just flip a switch and just turn it all back on. It's gonna be very, very difficult. So let's get some more people here. Let's talk to you guys. Peter Finch, are takeaway shops closed? No, Peter Finch, takeaway is open if they want to be. But a lot of places have chosen to close anyway. I guess they feel it's not worth it because you have to open up, you have to pay someone, and maybe you have to pay to power it up. And just for takeaway, a lot of places have chosen just to close down if they don't do a lot of takeaway. So they've just chosen to close down because that's not their business. If they're a tapas bar, for instance, I mean, what? who's gonna order tapa, who is gonna order takeaway tapas? There's not too many people doing that. So this is the famous Lario Street. This is the big, big street here in Malaga, and here it is. And you can see all the shops, all the places are shuttered. All the stores, a lot of shopping goes on here. And they're all closed. All closed. And here's the street down here, some tapas bars here, they are all closed down. And you've got a few new, new stores coming in now. They've taken over the old stores. So some of these new chains coming in, here is a Ray-Ban. So they've taken over this shop, it says coming soon. So that's what's happening. You've got some, a lot of small businesses are going out of business and they're being taken over by these larger businesses. That seems to be the theme 
right now, that's what I've been noticing. A lot of things like that going on. There is one place open here, Primor, which I'm surprised that they're open. I don't know how that is essential. It's perfume and cosmetics. Uh, maybe they're selling the mask so they can stay open. So there's one place open to my right. I'm gonna show you that now. That is the only shop I see so far. Primor is open. So we've got one, one little place open here. Hola. Hola. Hello. Como estas? Hello. <laughs> uh, estamos en YouTube. Ah, sí. En vivo, ah, sí. sí. Bueno. Des, ¿Quieres saludar? ¿Qué, qué, qué <laughs> cadena es? Okay. ¿Qué, qué Mi cadena canal es, es uh, Travel <laughs> Edit Guy. ¿Y tú, oh, de dónde eres? Está aquí, ah, Malagueña. Malagueña. Marbella, so, so the, Marbella. They're from Malaga in Marbella. Very, very Marbella, nice. Marbella, nice. Marbella. ¿Y, y cómo te llamas? And you, where? Uh, I'm from America. 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 Yes. America. I'm not from where? From the United States, from Michigan. But oh, I live in Malaga now. Vivo in Malaga. Uh -huh. Would you like to okay. stay? What are your names? Malagueña. No, no. no. ¿Cómo te llamas? Mariluz. Mariluz. Okay, muy bien. Yo, Ima. Ima. Ima, okay, muy bien. Isabel y Teresina. Teresina. <laughs> Teresina. Ah, okay, interesting name. Teresina. Okay. Sí. ¿En qué ah. piensa de la de la este reglas ahora? Muy mal. Muy mal. Muy mal. Muy mal. Okay, so very bad. They're saying very, very bad. Mira la situación. Esto que no salga ahora. Pero bien, piensa que este es necesario para cierre no. todo por dos semanas. No. No. Okay, so no. I just asked them if they think it's uh, si lo todo, if it's no necessary no to close everything for two weeks, and they all said no. They said no, it's not necessary. No. So. No. Hay que vivir la vida como antes. Claro, Bien. sí. Porque Toro. Es una Toro quiere. Bueno, sí. también, no, no, no. She's saying no, it's like a nightmare right now, basically. Now no, no, no. I need my birthday. Your birthday? Yes. No, no. Birthday. Today. It's su ah, it's her birthday today, her yes. cumpleaños. Ah, that's what they say in Spanish. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> well, <laughs> feliz cumpleaños. <laughs> feliz cumpleaños. We have 72 people live right now on YouTube watching, so <laughs> thank you. Okay. And my channel is called Travel Addict Guy. Oh, travel. Travel. Uh, I'm live right now, so it's kind of uh, hard. Travel. <laughs> She's trying to get my channel. <laughs> okay. Travel. Addict guy. And <laughs> travel. Travel. Yes. Addict. A. 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 D. D. A. D. D. Do you have YouTube? <laughs> this is so funny, guys. Sorry about this. A. D. 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 Travel addict. addict guy? That's it. You got addict it. Perfecto. Thank okay. You so much. Okay. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Happy birthday to you. Thank you for joining me. Thank yeah. you, guys. Have a good time. <laughs> very, very nice people. They wanted to be on YouTube. Very, very nice. And we did that for them. Thank you, guys. <laughs> very, very cute. I like that. Very enjoyable. So, those are Spanish people, and they say that it's not warranted. They don't think it is necessary. So, that you got the view of some people, and they were from Malaga and from Ben Amadein, I think is what she said. Rolf Steiner, the grand Anglo Zionist plan for a new world order is okay. That is someone's opinion there. FM, hi all. Hi to you, Rolf. FM, hi all. One and a half years not traveling now. I miss discovering new countries. Hello, FM. Welcome to the chat. Yes, it is very tough on all of us. And I was having a chat with that woman the other day, Deborah. And she said it's very difficult on all of us. And she's a person that's like very uh, used to touch. And it's like everyone needs this touch. They need that social connection. And it's being broken right now. It's being broken. And you're having a lot of issues. You're having a lot of issues with people. I've talked about that before. A lot of people feeling very, very lonely and sad and depressed. And that is a shame. And that is a shame. And I feel for all of you if you're going through something like that. And I've actually gone through some situations myself like that, being alone and being here, not able to, to see my family, and it's very, very difficult. It is very, very tough, guys, and I understand how it is, and I'm sorry for all of you that are going through that. So just know that you are not alone. Norman Liu is here. Liu, hello. Hi, Norman. Hello. Hola, Kerry from Torre Vieja. Hola to you. Bienvenido al the chat. I'll... Nuestro in vivo chat, very, very nice. Hi to everyone in Torre Vieja. Lockdown Manchester like normal traffic and shipping even in lockdown. Wow, that is tough to hear. So sorry for you guys. I know Britain has suffered mightily and that is really a shame. I know I have a lot of people that follow my channel from, from England, from Britain, and I appreciate you guys all from the UK 
and I really appreciate you guys. I know I have a lot of followers from there, and I really feel bad about what is going on there. It's really tragic, the situation there, and I wish you guys all the best. I wish I could do something to help personally, other than speaking out. There's nothing really I can do. So, wow, I hope that these vaccines that are rolling out will start to improve things. That is the only thing I can hope for. So, should I go this way or that way? What do you guys think? Should I go to the left this way or should I go to the right that way? Let's see, you guys can vote on it. Maybe we'll take a vote and see which way I should go. 500 euro fine here if you try to leave the country. Wow, that is crazy, John. Wow, they fine you if you try to leave the country. So if you try to get out of Dodge, there's a fine for that. So, so crazy. In Scotland, everything is closed apart from supermarkets and a few takeouts. We can't mix or be with anyone. Wow, so. That is terrible. Very, very bad news there. Florida is wide open. See, it's so strange, guys. It is so strange just where you are and what part of the world you're in. Look at that. One part is wide open. This part, we have a semi-closure, and then we have other places that are completely locked down. Locked down. I mean, it's really crazy. It's just so, wow. It's just 82 people here. Wow, that is great. That is a new record. Wow, it looks like someone sent a super chat. I will get to that in a minute. Thank you so much for that. Hi from Northern Ireland, Nicola. Hello to you. Very, very nice. Peter Finch, we're getting 400,000 bags a day here soon. Be out of it. Okay, very, very good, Peter. Glad to hear that. Most likely nobody. Dean Fran is here. Hello, Dean. We love you from the UK. Thank you so much, Dean. I appreciate that. Wow, I've seen some of your comments. They're so, so nice, my friend. Thank you so much for that. Wow, so, so nice. So maybe go down this way and take a look around here. I think everything is shuttered, obviously. Some side streets here, maybe show you a little different part of the center of town and take a look over there. Keep up the good work and the cat man as well. Yes, I saw the cat man today. He's doing well. In fact, he invited me to have something to eat after this. Has done any videos yet from Dean Frame from for Mark Alton, UK. Very, very nice. Hello to everyone there. Terrible to see Peter. Yes, I agree with you, Peter. Scott Gettys, most of Canada is locked down in some form or other. Here in Nova Scotia, we only have seven active cases, so we are open pretty much like normal. That's good, Scott, I'm glad to hear that. Eventually, Kerry, what's your best answer on international tourism coming back to Spain by June, July? Wow, that's a good one, Adventure. That is gonna be tough. I think, I think they're gonna cut it really close this year. I did not really see it happening. International, it's gonna be really tough. I know that that's the game they played last year. They tried to look at this street. Wow, it's just so desolate. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Just all these tapas bars just closed down. Look at this. There's nothing. There's no action here. When you get off the main street, it's just dead. A couple of nice tapas bars here, Loweno. And they're just, look at this, closed down. Fashion store. And here's another couple of places. And they are just, look at that, Zara. Here's another tapas bar. And it's just shuttered, shuttered, look at that, just closed down, just all of them. So like you said, they could be open for carry out, but they've chosen just to close because there's no customers. There's no customers. Here's another one, nice tapas bar. Maison La Alegria, which means uh, the, happy, the, the, the happy desk. Maison or little table, Maison. So very, very nice there. Happy, and there's the bull. The guy's fighting the bull. <laughs> I like that. And this is very traditional here in Malaga. This is the beer that's from Malaga. It's called Victoria. And there's this guy, and that is their, like their logo. It's on all the bottles. So very, very cool artwork here. There's another nice artwork here as well. Maison La Alegria, Lo de Jorge. And there is the beautiful flamenco dancing. And this is founded in 1968, this place. So it's been around for quite a while. Hopefully they are gonna survive it. So I think it's gonna to be tough adventure. I don't think they're gonna be able to open the international unless maybe to Europe, maybe another corridor to Europe. It's gonna be quite, quite difficult to get international people in here. I think it's gonna be very, very difficult. I told my family from America, I, I don't see them really being able to come here till the end of the year at the earliest. Nikki at Real Life Gimbal. Yes, I agree. It seems like it's the plan. Beauty Queen. Hi, Daddy. Yo, how are you? Hey, Beauty Queen. How you doing? Hello. 
This place is for rent here. Yes, how you doing, Beauty Queen? How you doing? So good. Welcome to the chat. Nice to see you here. I think you're in California. I think that's what you told me. And you're, she said she's a nurse. Very, very nice woman. Say Alquila. Here we go. For rent. This place is for rent. Look at this. This is just empty. Another place here. Completely empty. Unfortunately. Well, I got a couple super chats. Thank you, guys. I'm going to get to those in a minute. Joe, I'm here. Adu, hello, welcome. Edu, very, very nice. Miko did a nice job to give you a GoPro 9. Yeah, that was very, very nice of him, Crispy. Thank you to Miko. I gave Miko my old GoPro, so he did get something out of the deal. He has my GoPro 7, which is still a nice camera, but that was very, very nice of Miko to give me the new one. I really appreciated that, so I had to at least give him my old camera because I really don't need it anymore, and he needs a camera. Here's another place here. For rent, say Alquila, it's for rent. So we've got a lot of that in Malaga right now, a lot of shops that are closed down, out of business, and who knows when they'll be back, if ever. Any ships in port? No, not really real life, I have not seen too many ships. No, I think it's all closed, the harbor's even closed. Sad to see Spain so quiet, same here on the north coast of Ireland. Okay, thank you for that report. Joder tío, okay, la verdad es que la situación aquí no está buena. Well, thank you for that. I appreciate that, Frank Lakes. Okay, so he's saying it's really messed up. It's kind of a bad word, but that's what he's using. Uh, Tio is like a friend in Spanish. That's what they call it, like mate. Uh, it means uncle, but that's how they use it is like friend or buddy. And the bad, he says the truth is the situation is not good. So I appreciate you telling the truth because a couple of Spanish people were trying to say that I was trying to make Spain look bad, and that's not my intention at all. Here's another place to my left, closed. Say Alquila, here it is. So that's not my intention to do that, guys. I'm not trying to make anyone look bad. I'm just trying to report what is going on. And if I was in America, I would be doing the same thing. And I'm not saying it's all rosy and peaches and cream there. Now, here's another main street in Malaga. Look at this, just shuttered, quiet. Look at that, just nothing. A Primor is open, another Primor. That's it, a Starbucks. I guess the Starbucks is open for carryout. And we'll go by the Starbucks. We're close to the Atarasana Market here. Let me get some more here. Cafe Central closed. Yes, Peter, it's closed. I'm going to do a video there soon. Look for that. I would choose freedom of traveling than winning a lottery of million euro in this lockdown. Yeah, I, I feel that way myself. Yo soy de Madrid y vivo malos momentos económicos. Sorry to hear that, Frank. Lo siento. Lo siento mucho, Frank. Uh, bienvenido al chat. Mucho gracias para compartir, compartir esta información. He's saying the economy is very, very bad in Madrid. He's having some tough times there. Is Costa Coffee closed permanently? Yes, Peter, it's closed permanently. That's been closed for quite a while. I did a video before about that. It's closed, yes. Completely, I've taken everything out of there. The sign, everything, it's gone. Crispy Poke, hit the like. Thank you so much, appreciate that. Where your son lives, Edu. My son lives in Canada in Ontario, in Windsor, Mass, Manchester, only indoors. Okay, only indoors, that's different. So outdoors, you don't have to wear them. Here, you have to wear them everywhere. You, they are mandatory or you will get a fine. And luckily today, there's no police out. I have not seen them now. Wednesday, when they put this order in, they were everywhere. There was tons of police and they were everywhere. So we got a Starbucks open there and that is about it. You can see here, all these places closed. Close down. So maybe we'll head this way, maybe towards Soho. Maybe take a look around there. Recently started following your channel, really liking your videos. Jules, Jules. Thank you, Jules, I appreciate that. Much appreciated. Thank you, guys. I appreciate anyone that is following the videos and subscribing to the channel. Thank you, guys, it really helps me out. Only have to wear masks outdoors in crowded places, Angela. Wow, I'm trying to keep up with the chat, guys. A lot of comments here. I'm not used to so many, but very, very cool. Oi, oi, how's Kerry? Hey, Dave, welcome. Doing good, how you doing, man? Nicola, mass here to buy two, but only in shops. Don't have to wear in street, Northern Ireland. Okay, very, very good news. Afternoon, Kerry, James Jupe. Afternoon to you, James. Good afternoon, best love. Is the pension still open in Soho? Hello, best love. Not sure what place you're talking about exactly. A lot of places have closed, like I said, I don't know. I'm gonna actually gonna walk down that way. Maybe we'll go buy it. A pension is a, or pension is like a little, Hostel, basically, something like that. It's a really cheap place, but it's very basic. Just have like rooms and that kind of thing. And that is like for traveling mostly. 
es visitado el estado de Madrid. Es un generalidad, tío, te lo recomiendo. Sí, estuve en Madrid antes. I've been to Madrid before eh, con mi hijo. So I don't know if you speak English or not, Frank. I'm not sure. You're writing in Spanish. So I hope you understand my comments. So estuve en Madrid hace casi dos años ahora con mi hijo, con Jordan, y me hace videos en Madrid. So I've made some videos in Madrid. I've been there around two years ago. That's what I'm telling the man. So uh, yes, uh, me gusta Madrid mucho. Me gusta. Está muy buen ciudad. Me gustaría regresar y explorar más. So I'd like to return and to explore it some more. Adventure Elliot, six people per table now, up to four, everything open, but closes at nine or 10 in Madrid. Not as strict as Andalusia, which is ironic because Madrid has higher density and higher infection rate. Yeah, that is quite strange. Uh, the only thing I can say is the, the politicians, I mean, that's where they are from, is Madrid. So it's really quite interesting, all of that. So, uh, I don't know, you can glean what you want from that, but I mean, some people have said that it's due to there's a lot of politicians there, it's the capital. But yes, it has a much denser population, like he said, and a lot more people. So it makes more sense to close that. And that was the epicenter of it all to begin with. So it's very strange that Malaga is closed. I agree with Adventure Elliot. That is what they're doing. FM, how nice to subscribe to Adventure Elliot. Oh, that's very cool, Adventure. All right, FM, thank you. Appreciate it. I'm sure he appreciates that. Thank you, FM. I'm getting close to 1,000. Very, very nice. Oh, very cool. Hey, help him out, guys, because when he gets to 1,000, he can start making money because when you don't have 1,000 subscribers, you don't make any money, unfortunately, with YouTube. So basically, he's making the videos for free right now, So, which is really nice of him. He's taking his time to do that, and he's making some good videos in Madrid. And I'm actually going to do some videos with Elliot one day. I would love to do some videos with him. He's an American guy, and he speaks Spanish. Wow, it's really sunny here. I'm going to have to cross the street. I'm very close to the Atarasana market. Wow, there's not even too many cars here. So this is the Atarasana market to my right. It's a big market here in Malaga. Show it to you. And obviously that's closed today on a Saturday. It would normally be open in early afternoon. They closed in the afternoon early, but uh, today I assume it was closed. I was not here earlier, so I don't know. There is one place here open. Uh, it's called La Canasta and it's like a a bread shop and a pastry shop and they're actually open to my left so you're seeing a couple of these places people getting the staples they're getting the breads they're getting the pastries wow some really nice pastries in there as well maybe we can poke in there and just take a look at the pastries because they're so so good just to see what they're like look at those look at those guys wow so so nice huh yeah those are yummy 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 pastries in there wow so so good Hey, that's very, very cool. You're getting some su subscribers, Elliot. Yes. Cool. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. I think that helps out, Elliot. Very sad to see it so quiet. The lockdown must end soon. Yeah, that would be nice if it does. But uh, I don't know if that's uh, in the cards. We're going to find out. No entiendo inglés. Chaval, pero me parece que mola que se brace fuerte. Okay, so he doesn't speak English. Okay. Okay, Frank, muchas gracias. Bueno, la mayoría de mi audiencia está en inglés. Entonces, gracias para eh, seguir mi canal. Muchas gracias. So I'm telling him, thank you for following my channel. Thank you. Thanks, Crispy Poke. Kerry and I are going to do some cool collaborations when we can. Sounds great, man. Hey, I'd love to do some videos with you. I think we have a similar style. We'll probably get along well. Cruz Campo, por favor. Hola, Frank Lakia. Vivo en Madrid. Estoy de acuerdo contigo. Ah, that's very cool. Cheers, Elliot. Cat five, five dollars. Yeah, super chat, super chat. Thank you. The first super chat is from Cat five. Super chat, super chat. Thank you, Cat five. She said to buy a coffee. Much appreciated. Thank you. FM is laughing. Oh, Malaganias. Hi. <laughs> He's coming down the Malagania girls, I guess. Hello, Miko. Miko's not here today. Hey, Dad. He's probably watching, so that's cool. Say hello to him anyway. Very, very nice. Phone number. Marbella nice. Okay. Hi to Miko. Very, very cool. Yes. Hello, Miko. I'm sure you're watching. Hi, Miko Catman. Hello to you. Got to go on a solo mission today. We're missing the Catman. Where's the Catman? Going to go see the Catman afterwards. He's going to cook something. He said he was going to cook me some kind of steak, I think. Wow. 
Got to check that out. That should be interesting. Got to get that steak. Wow, already 40 minutes. Going quick, guys. Going very, very quick. Going quite fast. And wow, enjoying it. Enjoying it as well. So, hey, it's actually a coffee shop here that I think they're open right now. Maybe I'll stop and get a coffee in the middle of the, in the chat. Why not? <laughs> or say hi to my friends here, maybe. I think they're here. Oh, they are open. So this place is open, next level, yes. Hola, como estas? I'm in a live uh, chat right now on YouTube. <laughs> you guys wanna say hi? <laughs> hey, some friends I have here. They're at this coffee shop, it's called Next Level. So say hi to YouTube, <laughs> to the internet. Yes, and you guys have some coffee here, some good coffee. Yeah, very, very nice. Can I get a latte to go? Okay, very, very cool. I'm gonna get a coffee to go, guys, right here from my friends here. So very, very nice people. They have a coffee shop here, a little coffee shop, and they make some great coffee. And they could use your help if you come to Malaga. So check them out. Maybe get a coffee from those guys. Very, very nice. <laughs> yes. What do you have today? Anything good? Everything is good. Everything is good. Anything special? Well, we have on the grinder, we have uh, different beans this week. Okay, special from, coffee this week. From Sevilla. Okay. From Ineffable. Uh, but that one is not available now because okay. it's the last minute. <laughs> ah, okay, no problem. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we so, ran out of it today. So how's the situation here right now? Been pretty tough or? Well, uh, being honest. Yeah. Yeah, please be honest. Being uh, honest, the only uh, thing is that we can also breakfast as before okay that people seems to be on coffee so yeah so I mean, you're really struggling you're right now band. yeah sorry to hear that coffee so, is the only thing you can for that. Take. so i'm gonna get a coffee to to go i can take the mask down if i've got the uh got the coffee with me so very very nice gonna answer a few more gonna answer a few more chats here Cayman is back to dynamic duo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Very good. Babe Magnet Carry. Ha ha. Oh, I didn't even see that. Muslim girls waving behind me, I guess. I didn't even see that, guys. I always miss that. They tell me afterwards. So I can pull the mask out if I'm going to drink the coffee. Awesome. Love that. Right? Yeah. Thank you. Oh. What was that? Okay. So. Try to help these guys out a little bit. I'm gonna give them a Euro tip. Thank you so much. Because they've probably been struggling. I haven't seen them in a while. So hope you guys are doing good. I just put you guys on YouTube for the live stream. We've got 78 people joining us live right now. Wow. So very, very cool. So yes, I don't need the top actually. No? Take it off. Yeah. So this is next level, next level coffee. Very, very good coffee. Enjoy your coffee. Thank you so much. Good to Thank see you guys. Bye. Yeah, take care. Very, very nice people. Nice couple, they're a young couple, Argentinian couple, and they have a coffee shop here. So, so, so nice. I'm gonna try this coffee. It's really, really good. Look at it. They even put a nice heart in there. Let me show you that. Beautiful, love it. So, so nice. Uh oh, my screen was kind of moving. My screen started to drop down. Uh oh. Gotta fix the camera now. So coffee and go. Let's do it, guys. So I'm gonna walk over towards Soho now. Let's do that. Ladies love Carrie. <laughs> yeah. They're lining up at my door. <laughs> Not really. Catman is back, the dynamic duo. Very, very cool. El Guanaco, hi. Hola, Guanaco. What does El Guanaco mean? I think it's that sounds like a Mexican uh, term, El Guanaco. Spanish people are very friendly and warm. Yes, they are. Where's the cat man? I saw the cat man today and he's actually back at the apartment with uh, another friend of ours and he's going to be making dinner. He invited me to have dinner, but he doesn't he didn't want to participate in the live today. Maybe he wasn't up to it. Didn't feel like it. So I'm going to walk around this way coming up to Alameda Street, Main Street here in town. Let's do that. So it was nice to stop in there, see some friends of mine, give them some support. Because you see there's not a lot of customers right now and I can also have the mask down so that's quite good even if I have the coffee in my hand. Not so great to read the chats though. So here we are Alameda Street here it is. A few people here all the places closed. 
And that's what we're dealing with here. Very, very quiet as well. Gonna walk down this way towards Soho. This is a part of town called Soho. So we're gonna cross down here, cross the street here, Alameda. And they've actually redone this. If you haven't been to Malaga in a while, they've actually redone this street. They've widened it out and they made it look quite nice. So they kind of modernized everything before it was kind of, didn't have a large pedestrian area like now. They planted a lot of trees, so they made it quite beautiful. They made it quite, quite nice. Oh, I see a couple more super chats. I have to get to those guys. Nice weather in Spain. Yes, was not too bad today. A little bit cool right now, but not too bad. Probably about 14, 15 Celsius, something like that. Malaysia, Miro Dunen. I think it's Malaysia. Oh, wow, welcome from Malaysia. Very, very nice. Glad to have you joining me from Malaysia. Hello to everyone there. Wow, it's so amazing, guys. People from all over the world. So, so amazing, you two. Wow, connecting me with so many people. And I've met so many great people so far. So many friends and wow, love connecting with you guys. Really enjoy it. I really enjoy this and love to meet you guys. I always do that. If you come to Spain, please send me a message. If you come to Malaga especially, love to meet up with you and have a drink, a coffee, a chat, a walk around, something like that. So very, very quiet here. You can see everything closed. A few people walking around. There is uh, someone selling flowers. That's open, so that's good. Not sure how that is essential, but that is good. I'm glad they got permission to do that. Thank you for everyone that sent the super chat. Ah, that was left. That was a while back. I think, did I go left? No, I think I went right. Sorry, I didn't see that. Looks like the mother of all Sundays in Malaga. It's actually Saturday. Go to the port. Not too far from the port. If I go to the left, I will be at the port, actually. Ah, we got all left and I went right. Sorry, guys. I'm behind on the chats. Sorry about that. Turn left then right. You to the Roman Theater. Ah, you want me to see the Roman Theater? I could go back that way. Hello from Canada. Talal Alakasab. Very, very nice. Hello to you. Hirschman, hello. Limited crowd on Super Bowl. Ah, yeah. Super Bowl's coming up. Very, very nice. Who do you guys like? Tampa Bay or you're going to go with Kansas City? I like Tampa Bay myself. I think Tampa Bay might do the surprise. And Tom Brady, another time in the Super Bowl. Amazing. Pink Manta sent me a super chat. Thank you, Pink Manta. Super chat, super chat, super chat. Pink Manta, super chat. Thank you, Pink Manta. Very, very nice. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. Hi, Ted. Good to see you live. How does it go with the real estate business? Wow, it's been really, really slow. Been really, really slow. The real estate business, got to be honest with you. They have not really done anything there. I've been talking to... Uh, Yamali and there has not been much action there at all. She had a we had a few people contact us said that they might be interested when things open back up. So willing to answer your questions and we are available for that. So I think some people holding off maybe till the end of the year or when they come when they can come to Spain. But I am available for that. So if you're looking for some real estate in Spain, I can put you in touch with I have an agent that I'm working with and we can show you around. We can even help you find a place. So this is called Soho, this part of town. And you can see also quite, quite, quiet here. And there is one little place open here. It looks like a couple of places. Western Union shop is open. Maybe they sell food there. And a little Chinese shop. There's a man selling the lottery tickets. People seem to like these lottery tickets here in Spain. A lot of that going on. So thank you for the super chat, much appreciated. Victoria, great beer. Oh, you like that, Victoria. Okay. Very, very nice. Where's the cat man gone? Carrie. Yes, I see he's back at the house. Hola, young criminal. <laughs> well, I got the I got the uh, coffee, so I'm not breaking the rules there, Gary. <laughs> yes. And you can smoke, too. So if I pull out a cigarette and start smoking, that would be allowed, amazingly. And I really don't even smoke. I quit smoking a long time ago, but that video was to prove a point because I see a lot of people... I've gone by groups of people and they're there puffing away and I'm thinking I have to have this stupid mask on and I have to take heat for not covering my nose sometimes and there's people around me puffing away. And here's a man exercising. He doesn't have the mask on, so which is allowed. He's allowed to exercise that way. Some people do exercise with the mask on. Kind of crazy to me. So I'm going to walk down this way, I guess. This is toward the port. Some people said they wanted to see the port. This place is for rent. Alquila, you can see it there. 
and very, very quiet here. This tree, look at that, desolate. Desolate, actually, desolate. So, got a couple super chats. Appreciate that, guys. Thank you so much. I know the street. Esteban says he knows the street. Very, very nice. Welcome, Esteban. Ruiz. Bienvenido. Hi, Akiri. Bit late. Hello, Nikki. No problem. Welcome. Glad to have you here. Better late than never. John Smith. Hope you can make the same video in one year and things will be different. Yeah, I've been making a lot of videos in Malaga. And I would love to make the video again. Here's another place to my right for sale. Say Bende. For sale. So you see what I'm reporting, guys? This is the truth. That's what I do. I report nothing but the truth. I had a couple of people saying that I was being sensationalist in one of my videos, I think, some Spanish people. And I got kind of some mixed views there from some Spanish folks. Some said I was kind of trying to make Spain look bad. And that's not my intention at all because I love Spain. I think it's a great country. I enjoy it and I've made a lot of videos saying so. But when I see things going on that I don't like, I mean, I have to talk about them and I see a lot of places out of business and week after week, day after day, more places out, more places gone. You have to speak up at some point, you have to start and I have to, it's an observation. I'm reporting the news and that's what I'm doing. I'm reporting to you guys. TikToker Munda, hi, hello TikToker. I'm doing good, how are you? Welcome to the chat. Hi, Dave, is it bad the truth does not lie? Keep the videos coming. Thank you so much. So pity only one year ago, Malaga was also crowded. Now it's dead. Yes, quite the case. What is the story with the Ferris wheel? The Ferris wheel, who is asking that? Best love, hello, best, well, best love. Welcome to the chat. The Ferris wheel was taken out. That was a while ago. I would say probably a year and a half ago at least a year ago and it was just one day I went down to the it used to be a big ferris wheel and they called it the noria in spanish la noria and it was like a big wheel and it was like enclosed it was a ferris wheel but it was like enclosed if you've ever been to las vegas they had something similar there and it, you could do like an observation it was down near the port and one day they just took it out i don't know what happened i guess they didn't have enough customers here's another street you can see here kind of dead main street not much going on. And that is what we're dealing with. So I'm gonna head down this way, maybe to the port and probably go down there and show you guys that. We'll probably end the video. It's almost been an hour. Wow, time goes quick. Goes very, very fast. Enjoy these super chats. Let me get to some of these. Try to go through these quick. Buy you two atapas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Very, very good. I wanna eat sopa de rabo de toro. Oh, that was so, so good. If you wanna eat that, go to Sevilla, Fabian. That is, you can get it in Malaga too, but in Sevilla, wow, I had some of the greatest Rabo de Toro. And I don't know if you saw that one place I went to, that restaurant, well, I can't even think of the name of it offhand, but I have a video, check it out. I mean, I got a Rabo de Toro for four euros a tapa, and it was amazing. Oh my God, and the food was so, so good. The meat in Sevilla was amazing, so, so good. So, so good. There are a couple of places in Malaga too where it's good. Normally it's a little bit more expensive. The Rabo de Toro is not really a big thing here in Malaga. Not as big as like Sevilla, but you can find it in some places. I think Ronda, Ronda, I've been told in Ronda, it's quite good as well. Unfortunately, Ronda has a lot of cases. For some reason, they're like one of the epicenters of Andalusia now. I see on the map, it's really bad. And I've been hearing that also Granada. Somebody's telling me Granada is also in a terrible situation. So there's a big park here. Couple places here, they're all closed. The playground is shut down for the kids. You cannot play right now. There's none of that that's not allowed, which is kind of strange because you can exercise. The exercise equipment was open for the adults, but for the children, it was all shut down. So it seems kind of unfair to me. It seems kind of unfair. Dean Fran, your videos come out really good. Now, really clear, you're doing a great job. Do you need any money? I can send you some if you need some. I'm your biggest fan, Dean frame for hi Dean if you want to send me a gift you're welcome to do so I mean I don't ask for I mean it's up to you guys I mean if you'd like to send me something yeah everything helps out I mean obviously times are tough for everyone it's kind of I'm kind of struggling too along with everyone else in fact I'm thinking about maybe moving out of my apartment because trying to get a roommate we've actually even talked about moving in with Miko and another friend so it's a possibility but it's kind of weird with this YouTube and my business because it's online. It kind of goes up and down. So one month I'll have a good month and then I have a poor month. So that's just kind of the way it is. So I'm not getting rich there, Dean, but 
There's two ways you can help me. If you want to send something, you want to send a gift, you can send a super chat now. It goes directly to my channel through YouTube, or you can send, I have a PayPal account. And in the description of my videos, I have the link to the PayPal account. So if anybody would like to send me a gift to my PayPal account, you can go ahead and do that. I have the link in the description of my video. So, and thank you to everyone that sends me something. It's not, it's not an obligation, you don't have to. And even if you just want to send a dollar or two or something like for a coffee or or five, I really appreciate it, guys. I really appreciate that. And it's a way you can show your support for me and my channel. And also subscribing. Subscribing to the channel is another great way to show support. And I really appreciate that. It really helps also helps my channel grow. It's not a sign to YouTube that you like the content and you want to see more of the videos. So here we are. We're coming down to the port now. Here it is. Somebody's said they wanted to see the port so going that way so we'll probably head on down to the port show you guys that and then I'm gonna go ahead and end the video there still 80 people wow that's great guys every chat I'm doing live chat I'm seeing more and more people and from different places that's so awesome I love it I appreciate all of you guys so so awesome COVID in California is the worst sorry to hear that beauty queen what is the housing market like there? Have property prices declined? Not that much, Michael. Not too much. Actually, I've seen a couple of discounts and they're not so much. They're coming down maybe 5%. That's about it. Maybe 10%. They're, they haven't quite lowered the prices yet. And it's kind of unusual to me. I'm not sure why. And it's kind of, I mean, I think they're holding out for more money, but I'm afraid of an economic collapse coming. I've been talking about that and a property collapse is very, very possible this year, if not next year. So I think they're gonna have a big haircut coming. At least not 10 or 15 or 20% could be easily. Scott Gaddis, super chat. Thank you, my friend, Scott Gaddis. Super chat, super chat, super chat. Yes, super chat, Scott Gaddis. Really enjoying all the videos, keep them coming. Thank you, Scott, I appreciate that. You're a great supporter of my channel. Man, you are you seem like a great guy. I'd love to meet you one day and Awesome, man. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I appreciate all of the super chats. That really, really helps, guys. And if you want to send a super chat, it's really, really easy. You click on that little monetization button next to the uh, where you input the chat, and you can send money. I think you pay with a credit card. I'm not sure if there's another way to pay, but it goes right to YouTube, so it's 100% safe, and I get the money. So it's very, very nice. It's a quick way to do it, and you also get mentioned, and you get a dance. You get a super chat dance. <laughs> So thank you again, Scott. Hopefully in Ben Modena in June, lunch on me if you want to meet up. Very, very cool. Ben McGronigan is here. Okay, Ben, sounds great. Hope you guys can make it here. I hope that's gonna be a possibility this summer. We'll see what happens. Very, very cool. Welcome to the chat. Nice to see you here. Thank you for your support. New law coming for Spain that requires you to have 500 for each day of your stay or they won't let you enter. Yeah, I can imagine more stuff going like this. And I heard they've been playing some games as well with the, what I want to say, they've been playing some games. I went the, actually the wrong way. I want to go to the boardwalk here. Well, I can actually go down this way too. Oh, it's closed off. I can't, I don't think I can go through here. Uh, they actually were playing some games. I heard after this Brexit, they're not letting some people from Spain getting like the residency. That's a problem right now. So I was actually watching a video about that the other day. And some people asked me for advice about that, and I really don't know anything about that, guys. I really don't know anything. Maybe that's something that we could do one day, have a talk to a lawyer. If I could find a lawyer or somebody like that that handles these kind of residency things, maybe that's a video I could do one day and talk to some people about that because that's maybe an issue that would be interesting to, to people, could help them out, like I did the real estate one. This Picasso Suites open. Last time Malaga, I stayed there for three weeks. Loved it. Good question. I really don't know. I really don't know. I would uh, not sure about that Cat 5. I have to look into that. If it is open, I doubt they have many customers. A lot of those relied on foreigners. They must really be hurting there. I know that was a one close to the, it's close to the Picasso Museum, I believe. Ooh, a little, a little more coffee. Ooh, that coffee tastes really nice, guys. Really, really nice. Okay, here we are at the port. So some people down here enjoying it. Very, very nice. You can see there's no ship. Somebody was asking me about boats. There's none. Look at that. Empty harbor. Empty harbor, but beautiful. So we got an empty harbor here, but it's quite, quite pretty. So, so, so nice. So some people 
Sticking around to see the harbor. Very, very nice. Glad I can show you that. Sure, I seen Miko on this blog. Yeah, I'm, I think he's here probably. I don't know what screen name he's using. Bestovi, best love. Hello from Holland. Yes, or hola from Holland. Hola. Yes, hola to you. Welcome. Nice to see you. Holland. Yes, love it. Love to get there one day. I would love to visit there. I heard they're doing something in Amsterdam. I heard something about that. That they're get, taking out the red light district in Amsterdam now. So I think some politicians are using this. I've heard that before to get rid of some things that they don't want. And they're using the, the virus as a tool because there are some of these red light districts and things that they don't want, that they're not desirable maybe, or they don't want in the center of the city. They're able to move it out now with this because it's uh, it's a, you know, it's the kind of... Um, it's a guise that they use to get rid of the things that they didn't want because they say, oh, we can't have it now. It's not safe. So they're going ahead and doing that. So that's what they're doing. Somebody waving there. Hello. <laughs> Very nice. It's all over the news. Do they sell Ethiopian coffee there? Um, yeah, I think they do. They have a really good blend of coffee. I'm not sure what the blend is exactly, but it's really good. It's really smooth. I think it's similar to the one I get. They have a coffee roaster here in Churiana a part of Malaga and they're getting it from there. So some people out here, finally got some people. Here's the port, let's show you that again. So, so nice. And there's one place open here, Granier to my left. And people are lining up for that. So some sweets, some snacks, and they have some pastries and some coffee maybe. So they're getting that there. Wow, we still have 77 people. Very, very nice guys. Awesome, greetings from London, Paul. Cousins, hey, hey Paul, how you doing? It may snow, we hope vaccination will provide resistance and we'll be able to end some restrictions. Yeah, I hope so. That would be awesome. Jewel, Jewels, coffee money. Yes, coffee money is nice. Love it. And I shared some with uh, my friends there. I gave them a Euro tip. So try to help out when I can, you know, help those guys out because I'm obviously they're struggling there too. Ooh, this coffee is really nice guys. So, so nice. Hi, Kerry. Next level coffee. Great name. I will visit when I'm in Malaga for sure. Very, very cool. I'm sure they all appreciate your support and some great coffee there. Very, very good. Specialty coffee. Good place. Norwegian here. JCJ. Hello. Welcome to the chat. Norwegian here living in Braga, Portugal. Just moved after 10 years in Fuenrola, Malaga. Love your videos. Oh, very, very cool. How do you like Portugal? I wanted to get to Portugal. I'd love to get there. That's on my list. Wow, I've been trying to get to the west part of Spain. I wanted to go to Cadiz. I have not been there yet. And then I wanted to go into Malaga. That was my plan this year and to visit western part of Spain there and to visit Portugal. I hear the south is very, very beautiful. The beaches, they have some amazing beaches. And I was trying to do that, but obviously we can't right now. So hopefully I can do that soon. Hope you're enjoying Portugal. Coffee, yes, <laughs> thumbs up. Picture signal is getting worse. Well, wow, sorry to hear that. Maybe it's your connection there. It looks very quiet. Need to know how to put some cash on your channel, Carrie and Catman. Yeah, you can send it through through the PayPal, which is in my description. Uh, you have the description uh, in the description for the videos. I have a link to my PayPal account. You can go ahead and do that, or you can send it through a super chat. Right now, you can do that, and I will receive that money. So that's how you can do it. Signal is back to normal. Very, very good. Thank you for that, Florian. Lars Hagen, Miss Malaga, and Tori Molinos. Okay, very, very nice. Here's a man playing guitar here. Oh, I was going to mention that before, that there was actually a musician. And we saw him recently from Sweden. He was here from Sweden. And he was in the street playing. And actually, we were at the coffee shop. And Miko, the nice guy he is, he gave him a couple euros. And the guy stopped and talked to us. Really, really nice guy, a musician. And he said, wow, it's really, really tough in Malaga because the cops are keep shutting him down. He cannot play. So it's very, very difficult for him to play even. So that's very, very tough. And wow, we felt bad for him. And he said, he's just trying to make enough money to stay in a hostel for the evening. So this is the unintended things. When you close everything down, there are people that are suffering. There are people like that. He told us that he had to sleep in the street a couple nights because he couldn't play and they won't let him play and he can't make any tips. So it's very, very difficult. So I think he wants to leave Malaga for that reason. So I don't know why they're doing that. 
But here's a man playing there, so very, very good. I'm, I'm, I'm glad they're allowing him to do that. They used to allow musicians to play. Give us instructions how to send you money, Fanny Khan. Well, the, the super chat, how it works is, is right next to the, where you enter the chat, there's a little like uh, dollar sign there. You click on that and you can go ahead and send money. I think you pay with a credit card, I believe, and you go ahead and you can select the amount and you send it through YouTube. You pay YouTube and then they send it to me and it shows up as a super chat. Or I have a PayPal account. Oh, there's that port behind me. Wow, so, so beautiful, guys. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Look at that. Gorgeous port of Malaga. I'm going to show it to you here. Look at that. Wonderful. Wonderful port. So very, very quiet today, but very, very pretty as well. Great place to come and enjoy a day. So in the link, in the description link, I have a I have a link to a PayPal. It'll say PayPal. Send me money through PayPal or send me a gift if you like. You click on that link. It takes you directly to my PayPal and then you just click. It says send money and you select the amount of money you want and you can send it through PayPal. And PayPal is very, very safe. It's owned by Amazon, I believe. Either Google or Amazon. I think it's Amazon that bought it. And you can send money there. And PayPal is a very, very good way to send money throughout the world. It's very, very safe as well. So that is that is one of the best ways to send me money directly through PayPal. That's right, but it looks like a bad Sunday. Mary, I am looking for villa to rent in Costa del Sol up to 1,500 euros a month with pool. Okay. Well, I can talk to Yamali about that, JB. Why don't you send me, a, send me an email? Do you have my email address? I posted it in a couple other other videos or I have an Instagram account. I have it in the description as well. You can try to send me a uh, message on Instagram and I can get a hold of you there. And I'll, I'll make sure that Yamali gets a message. She can go ahead and look for that. Dave Martin, how you tag? What's happening in Quetta? Hi, Dan, how you doing? I don't know what's happening there, Quetta. I'm not even sure where that is. Some part of Spain, I guess. JCJ to the Catman. Mijas Felinas is a group that saves cats from the streets, and it's a great way for you to meet a sweet girl. Wow, that is awesome, JCJ. I love that. Thank you for telling me about that. Wow, I think that would be great. We're talking about going to Mijas. Miko, he loves Mijas. That would be awesome. I'd love to go there. Maybe uh, do a video with those guys. Maybe we could even save a cat. That would be awesome. That would be great. Thank you for that. I'm going to go ahead and try to find more information about that. Best love, Old Soho. Tina O'Connell, hey, how you doing, Tina? Oh, Tiana, Tiana, hello, Tiana. Welcome to the chat, very, very nice. Stay with GoPro 8, picture not good. Dan Martin, sorry to hear that. We tried to connect up the GoPro, very, very difficult to do it with the live chat. I wanted to do it, it's uh, very, very difficult. So, we're gonna try to work on it for the next one, maybe. Apologize about that, guys. Sorry to hear that. Oye, que necesitamos en vlog en vivo cada sábado. We're doing the, like I said, with the GoPro, hard to connect, John. We've been trying to do it. I'm doing a live chat every two weeks, guys. I appreciate you guys coming and checking me out every two weeks. Happy to connect with everyone and chat with you guys. Amanda's here. Hello, Amanda. Welcome. Hi, Kira. Great to see you. Sad to see Malaga so quiet. Yes, it's quite sad. Charua 59. Malaga going to look like Detroit. Bang, bang. Oh, hey, that's Charua is here. I think you'll see some comments. Yes, muy posible, muy posible. Yes, Detroit has been a disaster for a long time. And I'm from there, and I can say that, and it's not good. And they've been talking about it coming back for a long time. That's what the politicians have been saying. It's coming back. Detroit's coming back, and it's a complete lie, mentiras, because it is not coming back, and it's probably worse now with the COVID. I can only imagine. So if I was there, I would be reporting on it. And I left Detroit because it's a very, very dangerous place actually it's very very dangerous and i used to have some apartments there and it was quite quite dangerous unfortunately can you do some merchandise with carrying the catman t-shirts wow that's a great idea that is a great idea i would have to get miko's permission with that though i'm not sure if i'm really ready for merchandise i've been thinking about it maybe and i'm looking into that but i really don't feel that i have enough maybe subscribers for that i don't know if that's something you guys want some merchandise I'll look into it more. Maybe that would be a good idea. Carrying the Catman, tag in the Catman or something. That might be a cool, cool logo. That would be quite cool. 
I Shafru. Sanjay is here. Hello, Sanjay. Welcome to the chat. You need to get your screen right. It's all blurred. Wow, sorry to hear that, Graham. Okay, well, maybe we're going to go ahead and end the chat pretty soon then. Sorry about that, guys. Maybe it's a connection then. Someone said the connection was bad. I apologize for that. Screen is blurry by now. Now it's clear. Okay, well, it's the connection, I guess, Cat5. Sorry about that. It's how it is on a live chat. It's what we have to deal with. So, apologize, guys. Go Parade, a lot of people having problems with GoPro 9. Yeah, I got the 9, Dan. It wasn't really my choice. Biko bought it for me, so it was a gift. So, I hear about that, and I've actually, there's a few audio issues with it. The picture is very crystal clear, but I've had a little bit of popping noise with the audio, and only in certain clips. And I looked it up on the internet, some other people having issues with that. So, warning to anyone buying the GoPro 9. Uh, may have some audio issues and some people say they got a really bad audio Like a lot of popping and cracking. It sounds almost like static on some of the clips So not not good. I had a shave was not able to use some clips, but the video is gorgeous. The video is fantastic So maybe they rushed it out. I'm not sure. Wow. We got 83 people still here is the beautiful port in Malaga, how is the picture now guys? Let me know. I hope the picture is good. Gorgeous port of Malaga. Look at that. So, so beautiful behind me. Hope the picture is okay now. JCJ Missing America Pizza. Go to Fuenron up to Los Pacos. Okay. I actually like this uh, Italian pizza they have here. It's so, so nice in Spain. One of my favorite places is Terra Mia. They're ne Neapolitan pizza, Napolitano. Lars Hagen. Hey, y'all. Welcome, Lars. Okay, gonna get some off my PayPal. Oh, thank you, appreciate that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Appreciate that. If you send me something, uh, I will give you, I will go ahead and give you the dance anyway, like the super chat. Where's the PayPal link? It's it's not actually in this video. You have to go to another one of my videos. It's not, I don't have it in the live chat. It's in any of my videos in the description. So you have to go to another one of my videos. You could do it after the video, uh, the live chat also. You don't have to do it this second. People call it heart attack. You know Korean? No, I don't, but I know um, I know one thing in Korean. Let me think. Um, panga sumida. Panga sumida. It means hi to you all, I think. Panga sumida to you. Korean now. Wow, Sanjay. Very, very nice. Got to say, I hate those masks. Yes, don't like them either. Is a thousand pounds okay for you from your biggest fan, Dean? Yeah, that would be awesome, Dean. I mean, if you could send me that, that would be fantastic. But, I mean... I'm not a greedy person, but I mean, if you could do something like that, God, that would be amazing. That would be amazing. That would be my biggest gift by far, for sure. So you would definitely be a friend of the channel forever, Dean, if you did that. Gary T, see you next time. Okay, yeah, see you, Gary. I'm gonna end this pretty soon, actually. I wanted to say hi to everyone, so I'm going through all these. Thank you for your videos, blessings to you. If you have to leave, guys, I understand. Go ahead and go out of there. Hernie Liddy here is the same situation. Nicola Anderson, super chat. Thank you. $4.99. Nicola, thank you so much. Super chat, super chat. Got a super chat. Thank you. Joy Coffee Cake Me. Love your videos. Thank you, Nicola. Very much appreciated. Gaston is here. Hola, hola. Tag amiga. Hola, Gaston. Montenegro. Yes. Tu eres la hombre de Francia, yo creo. Hola. Saludos a toda en Francia. Very, very nice. Residency video would be great. Okay, try to get that going, Hirschman. I would like to do that, but I have to talk to somebody who knows about it because I'm not an expert on that. Nice to see some more people out here at the port. I guess that's where everybody is because they're not in the downtown. There's nobody at the downtown. So I wanted to stop and answer these here, and I'm probably going to go ahead and end the chat then after this. End the live chat. Hit the thumbs up, everybody. Help the algorithm on YouTube. Thank you. Ted Graham says something. Got censored, I guess. Hello, Ted. Ava is here, Gusari. Hello from Latvia. Wow, very, very nice. Welcome from Latvia. Wow, so many people joining me today from so many different places. So, so awesome. Thank you, guys. Love it. Oh, I sent through a super, super chat, Carrie. I explained it to you. It's right next. There's a little button there where you click the send the chat, and there's a little, uh, looks like a dollar sign, I guess. And you go ahead and click on that. It gives you the information. I'm not actually an expert on that. I've been to Lisbon and Fatima, very beautiful places. From Sweden, hi from Sweden. Greetings from New York City, Ted, hello. Greetings to you, very, very nice. Do you have enough food? Yeah, I have enough food. I don't have any issues like that, Dan. Just struggling like everyone else. So, no issues with that. I'm not that 
tough, but just getting by, I pay my rent and I have a little left over for the month. That's how it is right now. Cheers, Emmanuel, Fonseca. Yes, cheers to you. Bienvenido. Ah, I like that. Very cool. I like those uh, guys you got there going on. Very good. John Gannon, great vlog. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, John. Dan Martin, thanks. John Proc, good walk and talk. Kerry, thank you. Thomas Fonseca, where's the cat man? He's waiting for me. He's going to have something to eat after the live chat. Got another live chat. Very, very nice. Zalo, Zalo. Good to see you're doing well. Coffee money. Thank you, Zalo, Zalo. Appreciate that, my friend. Always good to see you. I'm at the port. I don't know if you saw any of our other chat. Maybe you're joining us late. We walked through town and it's quite desolate. Actually, down at the port, there's actually a few people walking around, so it's quite, quite nice. It's very, very nice. And nice to see some people out because the city is really dead. It's so, so dead. Wow, this coffee lasted a long time. Got a lot out of the coffee. So thank you, Zalo Zalo. Detroit resembles an European city during World War II. Play, play. Yes, it really does. And I'm from there. I can tell you about it. I can tell you some really... If you guys want to hear some stories about Detroit, I have a lot. I used to actually be a landlord with my father. We had some properties in Detroit in like some semi-bad areas. So I got a few stories about Detroit I can tell. Yes, I know all about it. There's a lot of areas you have to be very, very careful going into. They're quite dangerous. I used to have to carry a gun with me to collect the rent. So not good. And that was years ago. Thank you, Zalo Zalo. Love that. Good supporter of mine. Thank you there. Very, very nice. Thank you, my friend. Cheers. Where are you going next? Wow, we'd love to do some traveling, but you can't. Everything's closed. Not even allowed to go anywhere. I was thinking maybe Antequera. We're talking about Mijas. And I'd like to go to Cadiz. And a lot of places I would like to go. I've not been to Valencia yet. I'd like to go there. Like to go to Alicante. A lot of places I'd like to go. Great. Glad to hear the picture is good now. Yes, this has a connection issue. Zlatko Prizic is here. Hello, Zlatko. My phone, the video is better, but on the computer, it's pixelated. Sorry to hear that, Zlatko. Uh, apologize about that, guys. That is the connection, probably. So maybe going to certain parts of town that don't have the good connection there. How's Porto Banus? Haven't been there in a while. Don't know. Like to get there after the lockdown. After the lockdown ends, gonna try to head to some more of these places. Maybe check them out, see how they're doing. I did a video on Porto Banus last summer and I was there and it was not that many people there. And I talked to some guys there and they said they were struggling because as you know, Porto Banus is part of Marbella. Such a beautiful place and a lot of people there with money, rich people and they rely a lot of rich shops and restaurants that are quite pricey and they rely on a lot of rich tourists to come and he said this year they didn't have any so they struggled mightily there was a mighty struggle there very very good picture is good very very nice so oh got some here maybe you can split a cat man hope it's gone in your bank account i've i've got it ever done it wrong well thank you very much dean if you sent me uh Something, thank you so much. There's a super chat for you. Super chat, super chat for Dean. Thank you, gonna check that. I don't have access to it right now. If you send something to my Google, I really appreciate that, man. I will mention you in an upcoming video and uh, we'll do that. Thank you so much, Dean. Whatever you send, I really appreciate that. Detroit Motor City, yes, from the Motor City. Come on then, a story from Detroit. A story from Detroit, they want a story from Detroit. Oh gosh, so, so many. So, so many guys, what can I say? Going to collect the rent was quite dangerous over there. Um, wow. Detroit has so, so crazy. So many crazy things happen there. Well, I used to go to my apartment building to collect the rent sometimes. And I was only like one of the only white people in that neighborhood. So they would always ask me. They always thought I was either a drug dealer or I was the police. So a lot of times they left me alone. And these guys would always be on the corner, these young guys. And they were always there and I knew they were selling drugs. And I would always ask them, hey, what are you guys doing there near my building? I'm like, hey, you guys can't hang out there. And they're like, oh, we're waiting for the bus. And that's what they tell you. And I'm like, come on, guys, you're not waiting for the bus. I know what you're doing. Come on, if you want to do that, go do it somewhere else, you know. And they would uh, usually move along. That was one thing. And one time I had an apartment and I had an apartment. I went there one day to collect the rent and it was like this tape all on the on the apartment, you know, like they put that tape like a murder scene or a crime scene. And I, I was trying to figure out what happened and I asked the people and they said there was actually a shootout at the apartment. That somebody had came and they started shooting into the door. Hello, hi guys, how you doing? <laughs> Some other people here are saying hi, very, very nice. 
So I'm continuing the chat a little bit longer than normal. Some people just dropped in. I saw that. So if you guys got other things to do, I understand that, you know. Go ahead and drop out. I appreciate everyone here. Wow, we still got 81 people. So maybe go a little bit longer, guys. And you said that the picture is good. And we've got a lot of people down here. So this is so nice. So anyway, I was trying to figure out what the crime scene tape was. And somebody said that they came and they, like, shot into the apartment. And the guy, like, jumped over the railing. It was, like, two stories. He jumped over the railing without his shoes and, like, took off down the street. And the man was shooting at him. And that was, like, near the end of it. That's when I got out of the... Uh, rental properties i'm like that's too crazy guys that's that was so so crazy that was gone the guy just left he just completely left and i think there was some drug activity going on there at that apartment and so obviously something happened something happened wrong a bad deal or something so yeah a lot of crazy things happened in detroit guys a lot of crappy crazy things happened there and it can be a dangerous place at times but the downtown is actually okay now i think the downtown was like they were building up the downtown and they were kind of protecting it they had casinos down there they had uh, like some stadiums detroit tigers detroit lions so actually down there was starting to come back and they had like these hipster scene hipster part of town so a lot of happening there but they got houses for sale you might have seen them in detroit they were selling houses for like a hundred dollars or less so that goes to tell you what it was like but i mean you were getting like an, a derelict house in a bad neighborhood and it's almost impossible. You try to fix it up, and I mean, they're just like, it's no way to protect it. They're coming in, destroying it again, and it was just, yeah, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of desolation there, a lot of issues, and unfortunately, a lot of parts of America are like that now. A lot of big cities, we've got some really bad situations like that in a lot of big cities. So that's Detroit. Not good. Not good. And the. Uh, the ex-mayor of Detroit, his name is Kwame Kilpatrick. He just got pardoned by Trump. When Trump left, he pardoned him. And the man got 28 years in federal prison for corruption. So that is some of the stories of Detroit, guys. Quite, quite crazy. Wow, a lot of people here down at the port. There it is behind me. A lot of people here. So, so nice. So everybody's down at the port. And we're down here too. So welcome to that. 81 people here. Very, very nice. I'm going to figure out how to send money. I will send you a little coffee bunny. Sorry, it didn't work the first time. No problem, Jules. No issue with that. I mean, I don't know. Maybe someone else can explain it to Jules. How do you do it? How do you do the super chat, guys? Help her out or, or him. I'm not sure. I, I assume you're a woman, Jules. Maybe I'm wrong. Jules, Jules. But thank you. Appreciate that. Curie, see you next time. Bye. Okay, Robin, see you later. Maybe, maybe you can help that guitar player get a YouTube channel so we can get some followers and some extra money. Yeah, it's really hard to start getting a YouTube channel going. And if you play cover music, they won't even they won't even pay you because you know they're copyrighted. So I don't know what kind of music he plays. A lot of these people they play covers. Wow, here's the port. Looks awesome, guys. Look at that. So so nice. Great. Alicante is worth a visit. No more Valencia. Valencia, very clean, very, very cool. It is dark here already. Wow, sorry to hear that. Jonathan Lionel is here. Very, very nice. When the restrictions are lifting, come to Granada for a beer. Oh, awesome. I love Granada. Wow. I was there with my son. We loved it. Alhambra. We made a video at the Alhambra. It was so, so nice. We went to Sacromonte. That was so, so cool. I was in a gypsy cave with my son. That was awesome, guys. I love that. That was great. If you haven't seen that video, go back and check it out. Wow. Still 80, 81 people here. So, so nice. Zlatko, a super chat. Zlatko, nice. Super chat, super chat. Zlatko, thank you. Very, very nice. Still got some coffee. Salute to you. Cheers. Thank you, Zodko. Have a beer at lunch. Okay. No beer today. I'm going to have the coffee right now. Cheers. <laughs> so nice. This coffee is still good. Wow. It's a little cold, but it's still good. Thank you so much. Wow. I got so many great supporters. I appreciate you guys. Wow. I love it. So many great friends. So many great supporters. Maybe go up here and show you the port from up there. Go up a little bit higher. And... We'll walk around up here a little bit. Gary T, can you show some real estate for sale in Malaga and Benamadena? Tried super hat to donate. It just times out. Okay, sorry to hear that. Don't know. Have you ever been to Budapest? When things open up, you should consider it. Great city. God bless you from Denmark. Hi, COP. Welcome to the chat from Denmark now. Wow, so many people. So many people from so many different places. It's so awesome. I love this. I love connecting with you all. It's just great. So, so awesome. Awesome, guys. So I'm going to go up these stairs here. And we'll show you the port. 
Wow, we still got 81 people. So awesome. Yeah, I'm going a little bit longer, guys, because it seems like people are hanging out. So if you guys want to see a little bit more, we'll go five minutes more to hour and a half. Normally, I go about an hour, but uh, so many so many people here today, I feel like maybe show you guys some more. I know a lot of people are locked down. You don't have anything to do. So maybe you just want to hang out and chat with me today. That's cool. I love chatting with you guys. So here it is. Here's the port. Wow, so, so beautiful. And it's like sunset. Look at that. All the places closed down, but so, so gorgeous. Beautiful. Yeah, Malaga is a really nice city, guys. It's really, really nice city. It's a great, great city. Really like living here. Just got a message that told me that I'm not allowed to send this money because it's too much money to send you. Okay, I don't know how that works, Dane. Maybe you have to send less then. No issue with that, send less then. <laughs> You don't have to go crazy. Hi everyone from La Coruña in the north of Spain. Hello, Libertad. Bienvenido, La Coruña. Ah, very, very nice, okay. Bienvenido. Don't know anything about La Coruña. Is that near, is, está cerca de San Sebastián? It's a norte, Galicia, no? You're from Galicia? Very, very cool, Libertad. So it means freedom, guys. BC 68, hola, Kerry, Desi, Dublin, Ireland. I see some people coming in now, so that's why I'm going a little bit longer, guys. Hi, BCB. Very, very nice. Welcome. Welcome from Dublin. Nice to see you. Irish eyes are a smiling. <laughs> tell a friend to tell a friend about Tag. All the good work he's doing, good info. Hey, I appreciate that. That would really help if you guys share the thing, share my videos sometimes on social media. If you enjoy a video, maybe share it with a friend on Facebook or something like that. That actually can help me out, guys. I appreciate that. Maybe someone else introduce him to the channel or someone that's interested in Spain or travel. Okay, well, no, no issue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe try it another time or try the PayPal. What videos you'll be doing next week, Nikki? Not quite sure. I mean, I'm probably doing some more updates on the situation. Unfortunately, that's what seem, that's what people seem to be interested in right now. So, probably some more updates on what's going on. I did do a video with Miko at the park, so maybe that will be coming out. There was a beautiful park we visited. And we did a little video there, so maybe we'll show that one day as well. Dean Friend sent it over PayPal. Thank you, Dean. I appreciate that. Super chat, super chat. Cheers to you. Super chat, mate. Cheers with the coffee. Cheers. <laughs> wow, so many great guys, so many great people. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for supporting me. I know a lot of people have been watching my videos, a lot of new people on my channel. Welcome to all of you. Thank you for subscribing. Great to see you all. Thank you for joining me from Malaga, live from Spain. Hope you're doing well. Hope you have a great evening where you are. Great day, great week. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening. Take care, everyone. Travel addict guy. Take care, everyone. Uh -huh. See you all. Bye.